Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the Head Start Lab series, Volume 5, on music production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that puts you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series, we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And these tutorials were created from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring while they're in the program. Now let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the series. Now in this video, we're going to go ahead and take another first hand look at Logic Pro X and a new feature called Bass Designer. So let's go ahead and start by listening to this bass track. Awesome. So what the bass designer amp actually allows you to do is add a little bit more flavor to your bass tracks. So it's going to basically be uh, modeling after some pretty nice sounding bass amps. So let's go ahead and bring up a new audio effects and instantiate our new bass amp designer. Awesome. So this is the interface. This is what it looks like. Uh, essentially, there's uh, four parts uh, to this. There's your amp, as you can see right here. Then you have your cabinet. Then you have your, uh, your mic, and then your mic placement. So let's go ahead and start by flipping through some of these uh, factory presets. pretty cool so as you could tell each of these amps and different microphones create a different you know style of sound let's go ahead and stick with this uh, right here we what we're gonna first look at is this section right here the amps so right now we're using the flip top amp uh, we could easily switch that out with the modern amp right here and then of course you have all these different uh, parameters that you can go ahead and you know mess around with to get the sound that you want you have your classic amp same thing, a whole bunch of different uh, dials and buttons and switches and things like that for you to go ahead and check out, even a little EQ. Cool. So let's go ahead and stick with this one. You have a nice little uh, interface, a nice little tube amp uh, looking uh, head here. Let's go ahead and move over to our cabinets now. That's going to be this section right here. So you can switch between a, a few different cabinets and direct boxes. So let's go ahead and go to a classic cabinet. Awesome. So now we have this classic uh, cabinet which looks pretty cool. Or you can go ahead and switch over to this flip top cabinet. It looks a little bit different. And actually it's uh, you know basically the the cabinet to this amp. And then you can work with uh, direct boxes. And there's two different uh, ways that you can do this. You can either do a uh, power amp out or preamp out. Let's go ahead and do a direct power amp out. Sounds pretty coarse. Let's go ahead and go for the preamp out. Sounds like we're getting a little bit more volume using the preamp out. Now, also what you have right here is uh, this slider right here, which actually allows you to determine how much of the amp you get and how much of the direct box you get. So you can go ahead and uh, blend your mix like that. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Pretty cool. And then finally, let's go back to another Let's go to a cabinet. And finally, what you have are your microphones. So let's go ahead and select a microphone. Right now we have this uh, condenser 87 selected. Let's go ahead and switch out for a dynamic 20. Awesome. And you could even switch over for another one right here. We have a dynamic uh, 421. And you can move these this mic around to get, you know, basically the different dynamic that you want and a different tonality that you want. So let's go ahead and hit play and mess around with it. All 
So essentially this area right here will work like an XY pad or kind of like an XYZ pad in a way. Uh, if you move it all the way to the left, you're going to get a really, uh, really close to the speaker, the speaker cone. If you move it to the right, you're actually going to be moving, you know, slightly off outside the cone. And then you could use this to move, I guess, how close you want it to the to the speaker itself. Pretty cool. So that's been your first hand look at Logic Pro X's base designer. All right, guys, so plenty more videos to come. If you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. And if you have a little bit of time, don't forget to visit therecordingconnection.com for more information. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to The Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With The Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.